I'm going to show you how Glow Day works for patients booking into your diary and how it works for you um, as a clinician when you are processing bookings. So here goes. On the right hand side of my screen here, I have um, what we call the branded booking page. So whereas most um, booking platforms provide your patients or clients with the ability to choose a service, choose a location um, and then book themselves in. We know that when patients are choosing practitioners, there are other factors at play which require um, additional information to be surfaced to that person when they are in the process of booking. Those things are allowing them to trust that you are the right practitioner for them. And so the Glow Day branded booking page is configurable by you when you create your profile. And it has photos that you've added. It has your biography. Um, patients can choose where they would like to be treated by you. They can choose the treatment that they wish to um, explore. We also surface on this page dynamically your before and afters, which are added to your patient's treatment records and the reviews that are collected on your behalf through the platform. So in addition to all of this information, we display your profession and training and also a map of where your patients can find you. I'm going to go through this process and book in as a patient into my diary here. So I'm going to go back to where I can select the location and the treatment and I'm going to choose my primary um, clinic address and I'm going to book in for three areas of anti-wrinkle treatment. Now we've built this uh, platform with a medical model of practice in mind whereby all treatments and appointments have a consultation as standard. Um, we also share with your patients their cancellation policy that you've set and once they're happy to accept those things they can then book in with you. Now you can see here that patients are either required to sign in or create an account. Um, I have multiple test accounts so I'm just going to pop in one of those here and once they've logged in they are then taken to confirm their appointment and they are taken to add their forms. So I'm going to continue. My cards are preloaded from previous um, appointments. I'm just going to confirm those. I can add any information here and confirm that booking. Now immediately we make the forms available to the patient at point of booking. Um, and when they open that app, I'm just going to extend this screen across just to give you a slightly better view. Oh, that's, these reflows are better. Um, we can see here that the answers from previous appointments are already pre-populated. We are simply going to scroll to the bottom to confirm that the information contained is accurate and then we will sign and save. We can see that this then goes green to tell your patients that they have completed and submitted that form and we can move on to the next. So again, sign, save and then the forms go green. We do not allow patients to sign consent forms ahead of the appointment. We limit the signing of these forms so that it's following a face to face consultation. Other things your patients are able to do within this account area. They are able to view their appointment. They can see what they're booked in for and the cost. They're also able to reschedule and cancel. Now, because this appointment is within 48 hours of the, the date today, the only option available to this patient is to cancel. And if they were to cancel, your late cancel fee will automatically be applied. Another thing to note within this account area is patients can view their appointment history. So they can view historic appointments. They can view the information that they supplied at the point of that treatment. And if they have sessions available to them, they can book those sessions in through their account area. So this gives patients a little bit more control over their, um, their appointments and saves you from irritating admin. Once your patient has booked in and confirmed, you will get a text message and you'll get an email to say that someone has booked into your diary. 
um, they also receive an email and that email covers everything that they need to know about that appointment. So here it is, it has what they're booked in for, when, if they have any issues, how do they get in contact with you, a link to their forms, so this logs them into their account area, pre-treatment and pre-appointment information that you have configured within your Glow Day dashboard. So my pretend clinic is a home-based clinic and this is the information I'd like to share with my patients prior to them arriving. Um, pre-treatment information that again you configure within your dashboard, your cancellation policy and the fact that there will be a consultation ahead of the appointment. So the platform looks after all these transactional emails. So the confirmation of the booking, um, they get an email three days before their appointment to say they're booked in. They also get a text message 24 hours before their appointment to say, you know, this is when your appointment is. And then if you take payment through the platform, they also get um, review requests uh, automatically sent 24 hours, seven days and 14 days after treatment. So you can trust that the platform is looking after all of those um, communications that just make your life a little bit easier. So I'm going to head back to my dashboard as a clinician and this is where you are going to manage your appointment. So we can see Bella here is booked in. She's a gold appointment, which means that booking is confirmed. Her card details are attached to that booking. So should she not turn up, you can charge your no-show fee. Um, alternatively, if she does turn up and, uh, and has treatment, you can take payment via the platform. So I'm simply going to open up that booking card. And we can see we have um, this flow of tabs which allow us to navigate from one section of the treatment record to another. And at the bottom here, we've got what we call action buttons. So these are the buttons that you will press to move from one screen to another, completing each section of the treatment. Um, and we've split the treatment record up into these five sections. You've got the appointment, what they've booked in for, the consultation, which you need to complete in order to get to the treatment, um, the form section, so in order to again unlock this treatment record, your forms will need to be signed. And then the final section is the payment screen. So I'm just going to go through um, these screens as if the patient has turned up and is having her treatment today. Uh, so here we've got Bella. She's come today for three areas of lines and wrinkles. She's needle phobic. We've previously seen Bella and these are the things we know about her from previous appointments. And here I can link up bookings if I wish. I'm going to proceed to the consultation. Now, we can see here that Bella has redeemable sessions available to her. Uh, so I could add on that session if I wish. Uh, for now, we're just going to go ahead with the three areas of anti-wrinkle treatments. Um, here I can write in any um, additional notes. So I've got some pre-saved in my snippets. Uh, you can add those notes and they are saved, encrypted and anonymised. You can upload files if you wish and you can add in this email summary which is sent to the patient after the appointment. Now, once you are happy that you have conducted that consultation, you have noted down anything you need to and you have recommended treatments, you can then proceed to the treatment. Now this is going to load up the forms that the patient signed ahead of the appointment, but we can see that we've got this consent form that hasn't yet been signed. We require you to lock your device with a pin that you make up, hand it over to your patient, and this then locks down the platform so that they are only able to view their own patient information. We can see that two of these three forms are signed. Bella simply needs to sign this last remaining form, we can pop to the bottom, we can sign, and once that patient has finished, they can then hand the device back to you, you unlock it, and go ahead with the next step, which is the treatment plan. So all of that information is now saved against that patient record. All of that now will be encrypted and anonymized up in um, a cloud, and we can proceed to the treatment. So here we are, we have completed and checked this patient in and we've said we're going ahead with the consultation. We have now agreed the consultation um, 
added in some notes. Forms have all been signed and we are now ready to complete this treatment. We can add in additional notes. So these might be treatment notes, so procedural notes that you may wish to add here. Um, they might, it might be product information. Uh, so whatever you think is relevant for your particular uh, patient and the treatment that you're about to administer, you would pop them there. We have facial markup tools, so you may wish to add in um, the dosages and the points of the treatment that you have administered. Some practitioners like to take um, a photograph of any products they use, so they've got their batch number and the expiry date, and they upload them here in a file uploader. Uh, and then we have before and afters. Now on an iPad or a phone, these would open up the camera on your device and you can take photos directly into this um, area. I'm just gonna pop some before and after photos that I've done for a post. So if I just confirm, you can see that we've got this little wheel here, which when that photo has been uploaded, it will let you know and here we are, we can then select the treatment that that photo is referring to. And if you have permission to share, you can click this green button and that then allows those photos to be shared to your um, branded booking page if you wish. So that puts them into a library of photos that are able to be shared. If your patient returns, you can preview then um, to show them their progress. Once you are happy with your treatment record, you can complete it. However, if at any point you need to go back in and add notes, um, you're able to. So post-treatment, if your patient was getting in touch with you, you could add in any information as necessary. The final step here is now taking payment. We've, we've checked them in, they've had the consultation, they've sorted out their forms, they've done the treatment record, and now we are on to the payment. Here is where you can add in any additional items. So these might be things like skincare you retail or devices. Um, we also have the ability for you to apply any discount. So if you offer NHS discount, if you're running an offer on a particular treatment, then that's where you can discount it just at checkout. You can update this email summary here, um, and then we continue to payment. Here is where we're building up the receipt that we are going to send your patient once treatment and payment has been taken. So Bella has had three areas of anti-wrinkle treatment. She's purchased some SPF, she's had a discount. Here's the email summary, and you now need to decide how are you going to take payment. We've got two broad options. You can take an offline payment, so this is using an existing card machine that you may have, taking cash or a bank transfer, if either of those options are the ones you would like to choose, you would collect. Uh, you would select one of these pink buttons. If you would like to take payment through the card the patient uploaded when they confirmed their appointment, you would take payment through this Glow Day Take Payment button. We also have a card reader and an app, and if you would like to take payment through that card reader or app, you can click that button. Now, I'm going to take payment just through the card the patient uploaded, the funds from that patient's account go into your Stripe account and then two days later are paid into your um, allocated bank account. There is a transaction fee attached to that. It's 1.69% plus 20 pence. But the benefit is, is that we send an automated review invite to that patient where payments are flowing through our platform. Um, so you're now able that you've finished that appointment and taken payment to book the next appointment for this patient um, and there it is if it's a review appointment you would simply click that button there once that treatment has been finished we send your patient a receipt and that receipt looks like this my head is in the way so I can't click it um, it covers what the patient had the consultation notes that you wrote any post treatment advice that you have set and so that closes off that patient um, journey where they've booked in and then they've had their treatment, had their receipt. Both of you know what's going on.